Hey guys, my name is Kizana and welcome to my channel, Write It Right. <laughs> Today we are going to be doing something that I have never yet done on my channel, which is a reading vlog. Ever since I started my channel, I've really, really been interested in doing kind of like this casual vlog where instead of writing like I usually do, kind of just sit down and relax and read one of my new books that I've recently purchased and kind of just vibe with you guys, you know, have fun and, you know, give you a chance to get to know me a little bit more. And recently I received a super super sweet comment from a girl asking me if I could post a read with me video on my channel and I was like posting a reading vlog on Write It Right is fate you guys. It is meant for me to post a reading vlog on my channel. Alrighty you guys so now it is time to get into the good stuff of this blog, which are the books of course. But before I show you guys which books I will be reading, let me pause real quick for the thumbnail. Alrighty you guys, so now it is officially time to get down to business. Alrighty you guys, so as you can see, I already pre-picked three books that I may or may not read during this reading haul. And what's funny is they're all middle grade books. And they're all fantasy books because, you know, a bookworm is going to read what a bookworm wants to read. Technically, I don't know if that rule applies to all bookworms, but it certainly applies to this one. And even though I haven't gotten into a majority of these books, I can already tell that I'm quite sure they both all deserve their official introductions. And although I haven't got into a majority of these books yet, I can really tell that they're all well deserving of their official introductions. First is Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger and this is actually one of the two books that I got from Books A Million which I recently posted in a vlog of mine and I will post a link to that up here in the corner so please do go ahead and watch this but yeah first is Keeper of the Lost Cities and I have heard so many good things about this series so I am super excited to get into the first book of the series and kind of see what it has in store. Second off is the first addition to the series, Love Sugar Magic, A Dash of Trouble by Anna Mariano. And I have gotten about 200 out of 300 pages into this book and I'm absolutely loving it so far. So I'm getting pretty anxious to go ahead and get it finished. And next, another one of the books that I recently got from Books A Million is Moon Garden by Michelle A. Berry. And I am super, super excited about this one, you guys. This one, I think it's about like in the future. It's a futuristic novel where Earth was destroyed and now people are living on the moon. And this 14 year old girl finds a garden on the moon when all this time she and I guess the other human inhabitants um, thought that there were no such thing as gardens on the moon and hence the name. So yeah, I am super, super excited about this one and all that it has in store. And yeah, now that we've gotten our introductions done and we've had a little chit chat, I think it's actually time to get into the reading. Oh, and also I just wanted to give you guys a quick honorable mention to my grandmother for helping me put up these fairy lights that you see in the background. And I just think that they are so cute, you guys. I think they add so much character to my background and kind of, you know, am embracing that aesthetic mood that I'm really trying to create. So yeah, really, really big thank you to my grandmother for helping me put those up. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to start on Moon Garden first just because it's like one of my new books that I'm most excited about. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and hop into it.
everyone so i am now three chapters into moon garden and officially i would say that it is pretty interesting so far i will say that in the beginning it was kind of like a slow start pretty much because the author kind of you know shared a whole lot of background information which i think is pretty necessary since the book does take place about like over 400 years into the future um but it's pretty much about a girl named myra um and she goes to a school like i think this is like 2400 43 something like that i want to say um and basically what happened is the earth was destroyed some type of way so now humans cannot survive on earth in this book because um in this realm or in this world um the earth does no longer have enough oxygen for humans to be able to breathe and uh, of course live based on what i've collected from myra so far um and this story is in first person point of view, just in case you were wondering. Um, but pretty much what I've learned so far about the protagonist is that she kind of does not like her school very much. And I think that's because it seems that for the most part, her teachers and classes are boring. The only thing that kind of seems to excite her um, and she kind of gets out of that sarcastic or, you know, kind of like bored mood that she is at the beginning because it kind of starts off with her skipping class for one and then her school is kind of invited into this like presentation because um like kind of the principal of the school which i guess are called careers c-r-e-e-r -E -E they are kind of like i guess like experts at magic because this is kind of like a sci-fi fantasy hybrid um so the careers are basically people i believe who are well like advanced in magic um and they're kind of like um the principals of um myra's school um and basically she kind of sees them as like you know boring you know like kind of like maniac um helicopter principals um and you know she's kind of just like bored of like pretty much everything except what i noticed is her love for science um and kind of like colorful things she is really drawn to cover to color i mean which kind of is really exciting for me because as well i am drawn to color as well um and when she goes into a lab which she declare her new hiding spot because she does often skip class she likes to go into parts of the school um as a hiding spot so that way nobody will find her um, and she found this little robot, which I'm thinking will be probably a major part of the story, um, which although it cannot talk, it is this futuristic robot that was made a hundred years set before like the um, time frame of this book, which is approximately 300 years in the future from now. Um, and it's pretty much kind of like this sci-fi fantasy middle grade. Hey guys, it's Editing Cuzine here. I just wanted to clarify, considering that I keep referring to Moon Garden as a middle grade book, that I actually found it in the YA section at Books a Million a few days ago. And so, as well on the actual desk cover, I see that it's for 10 years and up, which doesn't exactly pass as a YA novel. So, as to whether this book is middle grade or young adult, I'm not exactly sure. But I just wanted to clarify that to let you guys know. Bye for now. Book. So as far as the author's writing goes, I would say that the pacing is pretty good so far. I really do love the like vivid descriptions um, and kind of how it is in Myra's point of view, just because I think first person gets you to, you know, understand the protagonist that much more when it's executed well. Um, but I think that since this story does take place on the moon and that is so like different from what we um like experience experience on a regular basis uh, i think it will probably take a little bit of time to kind of get used to that setting and for the author to kind of introduce it although i'm quite sure we'll get to know more about it as we are immersed into you know this world later on in the story um but so far i am enjoying it and i just wanted to give you guys a pretty quick update about what i think but i think i'm going to go ahead and get one to two more chapters in just so I can kind of see where this story is going. So although this is a bit of a change in plans, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop with Moon Garden for tonight and 
go ahead and go where I left off in Love Sugar Magic, A Dash of Trouble. I am right now about 200 pages in with this book and that means that I have less than 100 or pretty much 100 because it's actually 300 pages on the dot. So 100 more pages left to read this entire book and I could honestly finish this tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get as many pages in as possible but then say until probably about 10.30, it's 10.12 now, so I'm just going to go ahead and start reading and see how far I can get. Magic, A Dash of Trouble as the books that I read tonight. I didn't even get started with Keeper of the Lost Cities. However, I do plan on doing some more reading vlogs in the future, so I would really appreciate it if you guys would comment down below what did you think of this vlog as a whole. And another question of mine is what are some books on your TBR list? Are there any interesting books that you're reading now? or any books that you'd like to read in the future, especially if it's like some type of fantasy or scientific fiction or adventure book, please do comment down below your recommendations because I'd really, really like to add some more books to my collection and I would really appreciate it if you guys would kind of share to me what kind of genres you like, you know, what are some books that you like to read and maybe what are some recommendations that you'd like me to read as well. Alrighty, you guys, that is it for today's vlog. I really, really hope you enjoyed enjoyed it and if you did please give this video a humongous thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below i really really hope that all of you guys have a great night morning afternoon evening whatever time it is for you right now and i will see you all next time bye guys